it's wonderful to see these two paintings, Robert, because of course they both are intimately associated with Lorne Harris, and Lorne Harris was supportive of E.J. Hughes. Harris was one of Hughes's first early yeah. support, probably his most important early supporter. Harris got that into the UBC collection. And of course, you have an image of him unveiling it. Yes. But the other of course, the thing that they share, Hughes and Harris, is they're both completely distinct individuals as artists. Good point. No one else is like that. From a long ways away, you don't have to look at the yeah. signature. You know that's a Lauren Harris, and you know no, that's, that's an E.J. Hughes. Hughes. Harris's great sort of mission in Canadian art was to persuade people that abstraction was an interesting thing. He wasn't the first to do it, but he was certainly was the most famous to do it. And I mean, frankly, you have to admire the man's sheer gumption, because it, it, people kept coming and saying, I want a landscape painting. And he'd say, no, I'm painting abstract paintings. And I mean, that, that takes real guts. It's not that Hughes didn't know about abstraction, he just wasn't interested in it. Everybody agrees Hughes' most famous paintings are those when he's demobilized from the war in the 40s and yeah, these incredible yeah. canvases. Yeah. And which of course are influenced by, by his interest in, in, in Mexican modernist paintings, which he right. saw in New York, on, on, yeah. on trips to New York. Yeah. And I mean, this, they're, they're consciously primitive. Yeah. It's deliberately that way, because right. he wants to unsettle you as a viewer. The other thing that's fascinating about this painting is that it has at least three different sources of light in it. There's the main light that's over here, but there's a different light that's over here, and then there's of course a completely different light that, 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 that does the clouds. That's not real, but he, he, as every great artist does, he pulls it off. Yes. We're convinced. Yes. It, there's definitely an energy to these 40s works. And this, they vibrate. They vibrate. They vibrate. There's an energy to them that he was able to achieve in this, in this time period. And Stern saw that. Stern saw that. And the rest is history.